Hey Erica, we're going to be going over Come Jesus Come by C.C. Winnens. And uh, I'm going to show you how to play it with the bar chords and whatnot. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to capo up and play it in G for the rest of the video. But just for this first little bit, let me just kind of show you how I go about figuring this out. So the original key is B. And uh, the first B I'd look at is over here on the seventh fret of your low E. And then you can bar it off, you know, bar off the whole seventh fret and then get your E shape right here. And that would be nine on the A. 9 on the D, and then 8 on the G. The other B is down here, second fret of your A with your pointer finger, and then you could play this A shape on the 4, 4, 4, the D, G, and the B. Or you could, or you could power chord it, and that'd be second fret of your A, third fret of your D, not third fret, sorry, fourth fret of your D, fourth fret of your G. And then you have an E, regular old E major, and then there goes B to an F sharp major, all right, that's second fret of your low E, fourth fret of your A, fourth fret of your D, middle fingers on the third fret of your G, and then you're barring the second fret, and that'd be So let me just show you how that intro would go in the key of B, and then I'm going to show you how to capo up and play it in G, and it'll make it a lot easier. So we have, uh, it's in 6-8, so there's six big beats per measure. Um, I'm going to show you how to do it with just downstrokes, and then I'm going to show you another strumming pattern here in a second. So I've got, in, first chord's B, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then E major, 1, 2, There's three beats of B, and then the second three beats is F sharp, so it would count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a whole measure of B. One, two, three, four, five. So here's the intro. Sometimes I fall. You know, it goes back and it goes in the verse right here. So, I'm not going to bother with these bar chords right now, okay? I don't want you to play, I don't want, this would be four minutes of just straight bar chords, um, pretty much. So, I'm going to show you how to keep up. So, remember, seventh fret of your low E is a B, B natural, okay? Um, and I want to be able to play my G right here, and play it all in G. So, think about it for a second. All right, where would I capo? If you said fourth fret, you'd be right. I'm gonna scooch my capo up. Make sure it's nice and straight on there. Straight as I can. There you go. Ooh, about like that. Close as you can. There you go. Tighten it down. There we go. Alright, so if I'm in G. The B turns into a G, and then the E would turn into a C chord. Or this one, either or. So I had to make sure I was in tune. Okay, so so the uh, and then the F sharp would turn into a D. So the intro uh, goes something like this. All right, so there's the verse. Um, intro, one, two, three, four, five, six on this G, right? It's one measure. I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and I'm just hitting on the big beat of one and the big beat of four. And uh, you add two little down strokes in between those two big beats. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the next chord, which is gonna be C. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this measure, you've got a G and a D in this measure. And it would be three beats each, three beats each, or you've got one, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then a whole measure of G. One, two, three, one, two, three. The other way you could do it, or the other strumming pattern um, I would do would be this. I would go one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. And all that is, is I'm going one, down, down, up, down, up, and then a big down, and then another down, up, down, up. So it sounds something like this real slow. And that's one measure, and then I want to go to C. Alright, and then the measure with the G and the D. So let's get to the verse. The verse has two measures of B, so you'd count to six twice on this uh, this G chord. So I'd go one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Um, so that's one measure. So it's, sorry, I'd count it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you did the other strumming pattern, to a C for two measures. So it'd be three, four, five. I'm just counting the big beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. All right, and then the second line, you have one measure of G. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then um, one measure of D. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I go to uh, back to G for two measures. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then sometimes I feel. We're going to uh, the C chord thing. Um, just a regular old C. Two measures. And then back to G for two measures. The last line, we have a D for one measure, and then a C for one measure, and then two measures of G. Alright, and then here's the chorus. The chorus starts with, uh, we've been waiting so long. Right? Something like that. No, uh, oh, come Jesus, come. We've been waiting so long. So we got a C. So the very beginning of the chorus uh, starts with that line. It says, come Jesus, come. On the word come. We're starting on a C. Um, that's two measures. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. second line starts with a D, um, and that's two measures of a D. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Now we have this, uh, it's a walk down. We're going to start, um, so the next two chords share a measure, so they get three beats each. We're going to have E minor, and then a D. All right, and then we're going to land on C, but... Uh, that next measure is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we go to C for uh, a whole measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
starting on that D, starting on this, this is the second line of the chorus, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, D minor, D to the C. All right, we're going to keep going. So it holds that C for the, uh, for the third line, we're going to go, um, let's see what it says. Uh, we need you right here. Need you right now. There we go. Yeah. So, had to read that lyric. Two measures. And we're going to G. Two measures. And then we're going to D. Two, two measures. And then we're going to G in the chord. So we're gonna have two measures of G right here. Verse two, verse two is literally verbatim, besides the words. The, it's the same form as verse one. Um, same thing, same exact thing. And then we have chorus two, um, that comes right after verse two. Um, the only difference is that it repeats the top half. So the part with the, oh sorry. And then it goes to C. And then it would repeat that. it all up. Anyways, chorus two, um, it's just like chorus one, but we repeat the top half twice, and then we land on this G. So let me play through chorus two real, real quick. So we're going to start on the... And then here's the bridge. 